वेलकम केशव टू द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ माय जेजीबीएस स्टोरी माय जेजीबीएस स्टोरी इज अ वेरी यूनिक इनिशिएटिव व्हिच आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू स्टार्ट टू शोकेस द लाइफ ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट एज ही ग्रेजुएट्स आउट फ्रॉम ओपी जिंदल ग्लोबल यूनिवर्सिटी देयर इज अ रीजन व्हाई यू हैव बीन आस्क्ड टू जॉइन अस फॉर दिस एपिसोड एंड आई एम प्रीटी कॉन्फिडेंट यू विल डेफिनेटली शेयर सम मीनिंगफुल इनसाइट्स व्हिच विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स हु एस्पायर टू जॉइन जेजीबीएस and jju so keshav a brief of background about you you joined narsimunji institute of management studies and you pursued your bba in 2017 and 20 am i right yes sir okay then you decided to go for a job for almost one year yes so it's not an easy decision whether i should pursue an mba immediately after doing my bba or should i go for a job what motivated you to go for a job first and then plan for mba so i have a, a family which nurtures professional uh, education and uh, and at my home i got inspired by my elder sister Uh, who was uh, working at that time and i thought it was time for me to start my own journey i uh, took up a job uh, and i got a steep learning curve from that i got insights and the practical application of the knowledge that i had got in my undergrad later i uh, decided that uh, it was time for me to uh, complete my masters degree and uh, as soon as i got the offer letter from the esteemed op jindal global university i jumped at the opportunity and uh, secured an admission to do my mba okay so when i passed out the mba way back in 2003 you know i personally feel the options were very limited and time has changed i believe more the options more is the confusion any student who is aspiring to do mba has applied for multiple options am i right yes sir was it the case for you also so in my opinion uh, the more the choice the better uh, exposure a student has to the uh, to the level of education that he is uh, looking for i was always uh, i never had any uh, straight chartered path though i had my area of interest in finance Uh, but i had a management uh, education as a part of my undergrad so to further that education i uh, pursued mba and uh, as a part of that i pursued how finance. did opi jindal university come into existence in your life so it is one of the most prestigious business schools in india jgbs is uh, a leading business school and uh when i uh, got to know that i have been shortlisted as being a, an mb candidate uh, so i thought it was a must have not even for uh, just for my professional career but for my own self development so i had to uh, come here for my uh, uh, educational journey okay so you started your mb journey in 2022 and that was a time when you know the covid was getting over and the colleges were opening yes correct yes sir so coming back into an education campus spending after 2 years how did you find your classmates to be in jindal so it was a very steep shift prior to joining here i was working for a year in the covid time of work from home it was Uh, a drastic shift in in uh, all the social environment and uh, and psychologically as well because uh, we were uh, coming out of the restraints of lockdowns and masks and all of those uh, restrictions which were imposed to maintain the the health standards so it was a uh, a turbulent time but uh, the university handled it so well that we didn't feel any kind of uh, restraint or any kind of th- thing that if we were obligated to do it 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 came as natural and since we were among colleagues and like minded people of our age it was a very smooth transition which uh, uh, led to an amazing experience okay 
it's been a dream of every mba student that once i graduate i should have a job much before i graduate right yes sir and i think you have already been placed yes sir so how do you feel and would you like to share something about your job which you have in hand and how did you prepare for that so it again was a uh, it was a good surprise i it i was uh, hoping to get shortlisted in the company and it i it for, it was awarded the opportunity was awarded after a rigorous process of uh, of a written test followed by a, a group discussion and then a personal interview the organization was uh, the organization i got into was piramal capital and uh, they have uh, they have a reputation of being one of the uh, most sought after corporate uh, firm for especially for finance students and it was a very uh, i would say it was a dream come true and i feel very secured at this time at the time when uh, the all the students in all the major b schools are uh, fretting after a recession period in us or in india as well keshav it's always been an important question in the life of a student a package is more important or is it the company brand name which should be considered while taking up a job what is your take on this so i believe uh, both are important in their respective journey uh, in their respective phases of a person's uh, corporate career or a journey right now for me i since i am a new uh, i'm a bit new to the market i believe for me a nurturing platform wherein i can learn the work which i would be the which would be shaping my career that is more important for me right now i uh, package always helps as a financial incentive for a person to work harder but that would come after i have developed my necessary skills which will help me for life so friends an important point to note over here is package is important but apart from package yes there are other things also to be looked in when you are going for your first job okay we will continue to the next question tell me something about your life outside classroom in the campus of op jindal university so it is very lively the student body here is very active the meals are uh, the meals are very uh, very healthy and like you know the food is amazing the culture is uh, is very vibrant and we get an ample amount of opportunities just are not even just academic but apart from that there are uh, programs for student exchange a lot of my friends uh, went for foreign universities to pursue a semester there okay so uh, it was uh, like we have all the tools we need to build up our uh, to to be industry ready and to face what is to what what we have to face next what is one thing which you would like to tell to your juniors or any student who is aspiring to study in jgds to focus on so academics are uh, are of top quality here and to be competitive and to uh, uh, survive uh, in the uh, especially in a competitive uh, climate of a b school uh, a, a person needs to be on uh, uh, needs to have a good level of conceptual clarity and activeness in the uh, in the area of domain also they need to have uh, have a, le- a level of inclination towards what they are doing what they need to know what they want and what is the end outcome friends one most important term conceptual clarity this is something which i have always been focusing on because either you are aspiring for marketing or finance or hr conceptual clarity has to be from day one okay so what is one thing which you are going to miss most about jindal campus is so the education was no doubt the best but, but uh, i must say i developed a very uh, robust networking uh, i uh, did internships and uh, those two the friends i had i made i guess i made them for life 
so networking was one of the key aspects which i would so did say. you make friends only from the business school or as against the university has 12 different schools were you able to find some friends from law or any other school I also i did actually sir since uh, uh, in the dorm rooms we uh, like i have a friend from jg uh, jsbf the he he is pursuing his msc finance from here and since we both have the same major uh, which is finance so we are able to help each other out or uh, discuss on the key burning issues and the concepts which are uh, like you know uh, uh, bubbling out right now so as a student if anybody wants to embark the mba journey in 2024 and planning to come to jindal global business school what is that one message which must go from an alumni of the school uh, uh, i would say be ready for to grab the opportunity that you have and uh, i would say it is a very steep learning curve and you will have some doubts in in the journey but in the end everything will uh, uh, will will meet your expectations Thank you Keshav for joining us for this episode and friends we wish him all the best for his future endeavors he is going to start his corporate career very soon and people like him are always a role model for juniors in the years to come thank you for patiently listening to us have a good day ahead and soon we will come up with our next episode till then bye bye see you